Jesus Christ loves places like this. He was in prison. Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, was convicted. He was a convict in prison, convicted. We have inmates that come in and out four, five, six times. He's a criminal. It doesn't matter how many times he goes to church, he's a criminal. Who is that yonder dressed in red? God's gonna trouble the water. You know it looks just uh, I'm in jail. Yeah, maybe so. Jesus is right here with you. He does not care where you are or what you've done. I've come from the lowest of the low, so I need some faith. I'm trying to find that faith in something other than just me, because just me obviously doesn't cut it. It ended up with me in prison. This weekend has made me really want to get rid of some of the bad, some of the negative things about myself. I did feel a lot of tension, because they could identify and single me out now as being, well, that's the Muslim guy. A lot of people go to church for different reasons here. You get benefits for being in a religion. You go to church every week, you get to go to the parole board, tell them that you participated in faith-based programs. I got 20 years on on robbery, attempt murder. And every night I pray and ask them, you know, wash well all my sins. I didn't just all of a sudden decide I didn't want to be a bad guy, I wanted to be a good guy. I didn't look for Jesus. I believe Jesus was looking for me. been in here more than once, raise your hand. How many told themselves, it's gonna be different this time when I get out? I tell them how to get out of prison and stay out of prison. I go home this year, but this time, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to stand firm for the law, so, you know, ain't no reason for me to, you know, to fall off in the wrong path. But it's very difficult to demonstrate that these small doses of positive energy make a lifetime change. It just isn't that simple. People let you down, God never does.